Hello and welcome to Pizza 360. Today I've got two very special guests here with me live in the studio. To my right, Mr. Vladimir Davidov of PMQ Magazine Russia. And to his right, Mr. Stanislav Markin of Russian Flour Mill Number no. 3. And they'll be chatting with us about pizza and marketing, specifically pizza in Russia. PMQ Magazine Russia launched in September, serving the 5,000 most influential business leaders of the Russian pizza market. PMQ Russia is licensed by PMQ Incorporated and published by Vladimir Davidoff, one of the most active and knowledgeable pioneers of the Russian pizza industry. So how are things going? Thank you for invitation. And the pizza business now is going quite well in Russia. In accordance with the review I uh, saw in your magazine, uh, the speed of uh, development of uh, pizza business in Russia uh, maybe the biggest now in, the, in uh, Europe, in all European uh, countries. And a year ago I uh, had the first contract with uh, uh, Steve uh, Green, uh, the owner and uh, editor of uh, PMQ. After that we uh, had uh, a lot of uh, uh, conversations about opening. Uh, what is your vision for PMQ Russia? PMQ R Russia will have, uh, first of all, its mission its mission uh, to help to develop a pizza business uh, in uh, Russia. Maybe uh, the second, to unite pizza operators in one uh, big and strengthful organization in order to uh, help uh, their own and also to help uh, the new uh, comers uh, in this business. We don't n uh, have now uh, big com competition. We have a very big potential for development of our business in Russia. Also, uh, we will uh, be responsible not only for Russia, but also for all uh, Russian-speaking countries. And I mean uh, states uh, of uh, former Soviet Union. Uh, we will have, the, have the, the first Russian pizza championship and also Russian pizza show and uh, this is uh, the right uh, place for the presentation of uh, such uh, a great uh, magazine. When about did pizza first become popular in Russia? Well, uh, I think that uh, it was uh, famous in Russia before even uh, Perestroika comes. But really, uh, pizza as business, as a direction, a uh, new direction of uh, business, appeared uh, after Perestroika times uh, came. Uh, as Vladimir says, it became many years ago, but uh, it became most popular just uh, right after the Perestroika in uh, 1987, something like that. And we became lots of uh, new pizza restaurants, uh, first of all in Moscow and after that in other cities. What is there that's unique about Russian pizza? Oh, um, in, as comparison with other uh, countries, especially uh, Italy and the uh, United States, uh, we uh, do not have a lot of <coughs> people knowing a lot about uh, pizza because of uh, very many p pizzerias or pizza uh, enterprises uh, uh, were opened after someone uh, from uh, the owners or from the staff uh, had worked in another, uh, first of all, American uh, pizzerias. First of all, I think that uh, uh, Papa John's in Russia uh, has a special role because uh, a lot of people um, opening uh, their own enterprises worked before it in uh, Papa John's. Hey, let me go back to the uh, Papa John's thing. I, I have it on good authority that you were primarily responsible for bringing Papa John's to Russia in the first place. Yes, I worked in uh, Papa John's for, as G director general for several years. After that I worked in uh, Domino's Pizza, so I know this uh, chains quite well and I know what great uh, influence uh, these uh, two American companies uh, had of, uh, and have still have for the development of uh, pizza business in uh, my native country. Well, I'd like to thank our guests Vladimir and Stanislav for joining us on Pizza 360. You can find out more about PMQ Russia by visiting pmq.com slash ru. You can visit us online at pmq.com, follow us on social media, and download our app. For Pizza 360, I'm Daniel Lee Ferreira.